Hey, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online video. My name is Saints Fan, and today I'm continuing my Kyle Perico Heist Guide. And in this video, I will be showing you guys how you can unlock the two exclusive heist weapons. In this last, in this latest update, Rockstar added three new weapons to the game. The one you can buy at the actual ammunition for a like whopping 350k, a lot of money, is the marksman rifle, the gun I'm using. There are two other secret weapons that you can only find in the heist. One of them is this gun, the combat shotgun. It is based off of the Spas 12, like you may find in other games. And then we also have the Perico pistol. This one is El Rubio's pistol. And it's actually really cool. It's very unique. It shoots one bullet at a time. I can't hit this guy, but uh, I believe it's a one shot for, for most of the time. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to find these weapons. So the first one is going to be the shotgun. This one's going to be a lot easier to find because there's no prerequisites. You basically just go into the compound on the island and it should be somewhere on the island. Now, I'm going to show you guys where I found it. This is actually a clip from my live stream because I have yet to look for it again. But uh, when I was live streaming, we found it by the pool. This seems to be the area it spawns in frequently. You can see where I picked it up. It was actually leaning on the table. I know it may be hard to see because it was nighttime, so sorry about that. But the shotgun is there leaning on the table. You have to hit E to actually pick it up. But you can see once I pick it up, I now have it. And then I can go buy it at the ammunition. I've seen another location actually be slightly to the right of the pool in there there's like a courtyard I, i'm shooting it here in the gameplay one of my buddies actually found it leaning on one of the the plant pots over there so that's another location the other third location i've seen it in is by the pool but basically closer to the middle of the island so like where i found it was on the table if you on the other side of the pool, it was leaning on something over there. That's another spot one of my friends found. So the combat shotgun seems to be somewhere by the pool area in the heist. Now, what's unfortunate is only one person can pick it up. So if you're playing with like four people and everybody wants the shotgun to unlock and free roam, you're going to have to go through the heist four times. You're going to have to pick it up, fail four times if you don't want to restart. That's the only downside, but once you pick up the shotgun in the heist, then you can then go into free roam, go to the ammunition, and uh, you can buy it. I believe the shotgun is like 300k. You'll see me buy it here. It's pretty expensive for a non-Mark II weapon. I don't know if it's worth it, but it is a new gun that you can buy. The other weapon, the Perico pistol, this one is a little bit more complicated. So for the Perico pistol, you're actually going to need to find a free mode event, like on the main island. These free mode events spawn in various places. Uh, I'll, I'll show you guys two locations that I've seen it in. But this act, this first gameplay clip, one of the locations is actually coming from Snow Bacon on Reddit. I'll leave a link to his Reddit post in the description. But you can see he is driving and all of a sudden on the minimap, there is a blue dot. That's what you will see. This one is outside of this bar, and uh, all it is is a guard that is sleeping. You walk up to the guard, and then you loop them. This guard gives you the key to unlock the Perico pistol. So that's one of the locations. Now, my friend actually found another location by the train tracks down south of the city. And what's actually kind of interesting is even though he had the free mode event, I could loot the body. So I ended up getting the key, even though there was nothing on my screen. And uh, in turn, he actually didn't get the key, so he couldn't get the pistol. He, he's waiting for another free mode event. Now, once you get that key, now we can go back to the compound and the main office of El Rubio. This is where you're going to find the pistol. It's the little box on his desk. It's actually not in it. It's underneath that in the draw, but... Just go to where the box is and the game should prompt you to hit E to open up and unlock the weapon. And there you go. That's how you get the Perico pistol. Now in free roam, I believe, and there you go. That's how you get the Perico pistol. Now in free roam, I believe if we come back to ammunition, I don't exactly know 
we'll find out how much it costs i think this one's another one that's like 300 k or so so it, it is very expensive okay i don't think it actually does tell us actually no i do remember this one was free i don't know if this was free just for me like if it was a glitch but this one i actually did not have to pay for once i unlocked it in the heist so this may be something that uh just everyone should get since you don't have to pay for it now in case you were wondering we did try to drop the new pistol it would not let us so you can't cheese it you can't get it and then drop it for a friend also in the heist you can't like open it and and let a friend have it like that person needs to have the key but every single time you do the heist if you find that key it seems like you can get his gun so if you want to add an extra gun to your arsenal in the heist then you can do that pretty much every time so hopefully this video helped you guys out and answered some of the questions. As for customization, you've seen with the Perico pistol, there is none. I mean, you can just buy ammo. I have 99, it says, for it. So I uh, don't think I'll ever run out. For the combat shotgun, you have a flashlight, a suppressor, and then just your standard tints. It is really unfortunate these aren't Mark II. I mean, I know we might not have needed a Mark II weapon, but the fact that at least the shotgun is 300k, and uh, I'm pretty sure the pump shotgun Mark II is better than it. it is a little upsetting. But at the end of the day, if you want new weapons, then uh, those are the two that you can get. And it does sound cool. It is pretty awesome to look at. So I guess maybe that's the trade-off. One kind of funny thing I'll just throw in here that I noticed is the new shotgun. If we shoot all the bullets and we reload it, you can see he actually reloads it one by one. So he has to put like the six different whatever slug or whatever it's called in there where like on the old shotgun or the pump mark two we have eight bullets total and if we shoot all eight of them all we have to do is put one little thing in and it refills the whole mag or that's not a magazine but it, it refills like the entirety of the gun i don't know if that helps your decision if you want to buy the new gun or not but uh you do have to reload every single shot rather than like on the other guns where it just reloads it once but yeah that's it thank you guys for watching please drop the like if you did enjoy subscribe for more gta content and as always i'll see you all in the next one